Open your book to page 67, and this is lesson 2.11. This lesson is on adding the mixed numbers. Uh, there are two techniques, two methods, but that's when we focus on the method 2. So let's go to example 2 on page 68. Yeah, you have 12 and 1 half plus 14 and 1 third. So when you're doing this, what you want to do is go and line it up vertically. So this, so you have 12 and 12 plus 14 and one third. Then what you need to do is, since you don't have a common denominator, so you need to go and make it into common denominator. And you can go to the side if you want to. So you, um, the, the LCD, right? So, so think about one half and and one third. So that so that's your denominator. So you, your LCD. It's going to be equal to 6, right? So your LCD is equal to 6. And so this is going to equal to 12, and this is 14, and you have to do the step 2, right? So step 1 gets the LCD, step 2 is get these, right? And then what you need to do is, so you have to look at it sideways. So from here to here, you have to multiply by 2. So you have to multiply by 2, so you get 2 over 6. So you have to convert this into common denominator. So over here, from 2 to 6, you have to multiply by 3. So you multiply by 3. So 1 half equal to 3 over 6. Then after that, you can go and add the whole number and then add a fraction. So this one will give you 26. This one, when you add, you get 5 over 6. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so go sideways to convert into common denominator. And then, then you can add the number and then you can add the fraction. Okay, let's go to example 3. Example 3, you're adding 12 and 3 fourth, and then you have 21 and 3 eighth, and you got 45 and 1 half. Okay, so you can first you need to convert into the common denominator. So this is 12 over 12 and something, this is equal to 21 and something, this is equal to 45 and something, right? Okay, so what you need to do is you have to get your common denominator, so you got 4. 8 and 2, right? Now you can see that it's going to be 8, but if you don't see that, that's okay. You divide by 2, you get 2, 4, and 1. Again, remember, as long as you two numbers can divide, you can go and divide. So divide by 2 again, so you get 1, 2, 1, right? So your LCD is going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1, give you 8. So, it's, so that's your step 1, right? And step 2, you get your common denominator ready, right? So get the denominator ready. Then step 3, you have to figure out the, the, what you need to do to get from here to here. So this one you need to multiply by 2. So multiply by 2, you get 6. Right? Over here, this is always the same, so don't do anything. This one you need to multiply by 4. So multiply by 4. Right? Then after that, you can go and add the numbers together. So 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. And this one, when you add 6 plus uh, that's just going to do this. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 3 is 13. And then since this is more than 8, so there are 13 of these, right? So 8 of these is going to make into a 1. So this becomes, so make, so do, so make the 8 of this into a 1. And so it becomes 5 over 8, and the 1 you make, it becomes 79. Okay? So you can add this, and then again, 13 over 8 is 1 in 5 eighths, right? So the 1 can carry over to here, so it becomes 79 and 5 eighths. Okay, let's go to example 4. Okay, it says from the parameter of the triangle. So you have this triangle over here. This is 4 and a half, 3 and 3 fourth, and this is 5 and 5 six. So parameter means adding all three sides together. So let's go and do that. So you got uh, four and a half, and you have three and three fourth, and you got five and five six. So you have to add, right? So again, this is going to be equal to four and a fraction. This is equal to three and a fraction. This is equal to five and a fraction. So again, you have to get your LCD. So step one, get your LCD, right? Now to get LCD, you have to get your denominator, right? So that's going to do two, four, and six, right? So divide. Now. This can divide by 2, so you divide by 2, you get 1, 2, and 3. 
and that's it. So your LCD would be 2 times 1 times 2 times 3. So this will give you 12. So that's your step 1. Right? So step 2, you have to get your denominator. right? So step 2 is get all the denominator equal to that. Just like the previous lesson. Now step 3 is figure out what you need to multiply. This one need to multiply by 6. So step 4 is multiply out. Right? So you can from here to here to get multiply by 6. From here, you have to multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 give you 9. Over here, you need to multiply by 2. So 5 times 2 give you 10. Right? So now you can go and add. So 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 5 is 12. And this one, 6 plus 9 is 15, plus 5 is 25. Now this one, 25 over 12. 25 over 12, right? This is equal to 2 and 1 12, right? Because 25... You can you know, use, use 12 of them to make 1, another 12 to make 1, and then you get 1. Okay? Now, if you can say directly, you need to go and divide. 25 divided by 12 equal to 2, and this will give you 24. Subtract, you get 1. Right? So this is equal to 2 and 1, 12. So this one becomes 1 over 12, and the 2 get carried over. See the 2 over here? So the 2 get carried over, so this becomes 14. Okay? And so that is your answer.